Hello, 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 and welcome back to Why Am I Not Playing Elden Ring right now? Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, like episode two of the Babylon's Fall demo. Um, I'm going to continue playing this until the demo is complete, basically. Um, and then I might continue to upload videos when the full game releases. We'll wait and see how the game feels and like whether I think it would make for interesting content. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens like at the end of the mission when we like get all of our loot turned in and stuff like that. So, with regards to like all of the like uh, the spirit weapons, like these ones. I am literally just alternating between pushing L2 and R2. Whilst I'm doing my combos, I'm not really strategically placing them at all. Um, it's just a case of, like, do them whenever I can, because they deal the highest damage out of all of my attacks. Um, this graphical style still bugs me. Like, genuinely still bugs me. Well, that went well. Okay, we did get some loot. So what is this? What does this do? I have five of them. Y'all had better believe that I have got five of them. Oh, you can air dash. Okay, yeah, of course you can. Duh. This isn't destroyable. Hello? 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 Hi. I did dodge. I dodged. Again, I dodged. Why the hell would anyone waste time making something that in mind? Oh. This is, uh... Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. This is a very busy control scheme. It's a very busy control scheme and it doesn't like respond perfectly oh I don't oh okay to heal again. I don't feel like I have much um, control over the battlefield. Like, I feel like if enemies want to hit me, they're just going to do it, and there's not really much I can do to sort of, like, stop their attacks. Um, like, there's evading, but, like, there is a big period of time where I can't do that as well like once I've done it once like I don't know well, what was that oh my god it's linked to the red bar okay that explains a lot and also it was not explained to me at all hilarious okay so that is a stamina bar and it's used on your spirit weapons and also okay so that's a reason you can't spam them right Okay, I understand now. I understand the mechanics a little bit better. Um, so, I'm, I'm not too sure what all these relics are. I'm assuming they're just loot. Um, it said appraise relics um, as one of the... Well, they're gone. That's a shame. Oh, 
I just pushed circle to dodge because uh, that's what I'm used to right now. Oh, I did it again. I'm going to keep doing it as well. This game's visual style really works against it. Um, like, really badly. There are a lot of times when I don't really feel like I know what's uh, going on. Wasn't close enough. Uh, the camera is awful. Um, okay. So this is actually going to mess up uh, my Elden Ring playthrough, I think, because it is a completely different control scheme and it's not good. Okay, that one's dead. Uh, that was a stone rank. So yeah, I'm not really understanding the ranking system. I mean, like, last time I got hit a bunch and it, like, so, uh, in my first video I got hit a bunch and it gave me a, like, platinum. Um, this time around I got hit and it's put me down to stone. Which, like, I, get, I would expect it to. But I don't know why it didn't the first time I did it. There's a pointless alley there. Looked like it would be a... Uh, what is this? That's cool. Okay. I'm a fan. I like that. You want some brownie points for that? That's just a lantern. What's this way? Nothing. Awesome. Nothing again. This is one of those games, like, I'm liking bits of it. If I hold down square, okay, there's a different combo, at least. Beacon. Those. Oh. I'm sensing something dangerous. Is it stairs? Stairs are pretty dangerous. I could fall down the stairs. That would be a thing that could happen to me. All right, what are we up against? Uh... 
Oh, okay. Is there more? Nope. That gave me a silver. I don't know why. I don't know why that was better than uh, what I did in the last area. It's because I did a couple of like perfect dodges, maybe. Also. Like, that was meant to be a story quest, and like, there wasn't really much in the way of story going on. I got a healer thing. Okay. Uh, exchange all. Okay. So do we get to see what the um, what the gear screen looks like now, I guess? Oh, no. You and Gallagher were both captured fighting the Empire in your homelands, too. Mm. Don't even remember how many damn knives I've queued. <laughs> and here we are now, doing the Empire's heavy lifting. I wish they'd gone ahead and give me the axe. Be a hell of a lot quicker. Come now, sir. Jupiter only lights your candle once. <laughs> you want him to snuff it out again? You're the boy from the market, aren't you? Have your wounds healed? Does it look like it? Missed a few shifts, but I'm right as rain now. I feel like you're not. You have like purple on you. Hell mm. of a coincidence running into you here, boy. Like us. My... Thank you for saving my life. Hey, boy. What's wrong of your neck? Oh, this. I'm surprised you haven't seen it around here. Blue Death. I've seen the sun over the ziggurat, right? All bright and blue. Well, the light from it makes... And that's why the Imperials are always coming and going. Except the grave, I suppose. Well, okay. You so the sun is poisoning people. I, the Empire protects the ziggurat from Galen while they search for relics. I need... Blue death. But so this guy is everyone. Long enough, my friend. Someone's got to keep an eye on you, you know. Master Rishon, is it true? The answer's simple, my boy. It's the light from the blue sun up above that causes the... We have to... Put out the sun. Excellent. Indeed. <laughs> well, this is going to be a very long game, clearly. <laughs> the cores powering your Gideon coffins are structurally identical to the blue sun. You've got little star. Bring okay. Bring that Gideon coffin up to the Pantheon Temple at the tip top of the ziggurat. Say a little prayer. 
and your coffin will resonate with the blue sun strongly enough to shut the whole thing down. Pull down. As the light stops, so stops the blue death. It will even cure everyone who's ill. I feel like this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> Gallagher. It'll overload your Gideon coffin too. It'll fall right off. So everything goes perfectly for everyone. Awesome. So there is a way to be rid of the thing. And all we have to do is extinguish the sun using the tiny light on the back of our backs. Didn't I? I... So you're senile too. But that's all I needed to hear. And there's a cure for Lycus up there too. Assuming okay. this isn't just a tale you're telling to keep us in line. Believe me or don't. Now, I'll tell you this though. Okay. Got to make good use of it. <sighs> Unless you'd rather end up like old Isham. Holy shit. So Isham's gorgeous, I'm assuming. <laughs> Hold that thought. We've got a gigi on the way. Made it all the way to Shuana Street. No way. Hmm. What? Can't you hear? Go! Get rid of them! Work hard, and you might earn yourself a trip through the Jupiter Gate. Not content with extinguishing the sun, we are also um, going to go to Jupiter, apparently. <laughs> okay, um, we are actually getting battle battle pass things maybe so I'm at 50 out of a thousand for that one mission let's see if that goes up at all because um, holy crap um, square I was waiting for you I may not look it but I serve under Lady Sophia and, uh, can I all right, let's have a quick look at everything that we just got. Um, God, these weapons are ridiculous. Oh no, I don't want it on L2, I want it on square. God damn it. Wait, do I want it on square? Yeah. What have I done? Square. Square. And then triangle, then we'll do a hammer on R2. And then another hammer on R2, because they're the highest level things we have. So this is something that I don't like. Um... Like, so we just, yeah, we just have to wear, like, absolute crap. Essentially. So that's what I look like now. For God's sake. And if I go R3, can I change... Okay, I can make it so I don't have to wear a hat, so that's good. Okay, I'm glad that you can get rid of the uh, the hat at least. Um, it does actually kind of look like um, this is quite a good system, like I, uh, in terms of like for vanity and stuff. You can change like the. So yeah, you can change all the different ones. Okay. So what? Uh, hang on, if I go into the. Uh, into the battle pass. So what kind of rubbish do you get in here? Okay, no rewards available, of course. Uh, so what can I... That's an emote, of course. Some body paint. It's kind of cool. What's that? A stamp. Okay. 
a bit random. That looks cool. It's a shame that everything else looks terrible. It's also a shame that you have to be on the premium battle pass to do that. Okay, so like this page has like nothing of value basically. I mean, you get sunflower braces. What's this? A color of paint. This page is better. I've got to be honest, like, this is not a fantastic battle pass. Like, what are these stamps all about? Like, they shouldn't exist. Like, that's just a... Oh, I don't know. It's just a nothing reward. It's like a filler reward. And the fact that they're included on the premium one is a bit of a piss take. And the final thing that you get is a Gideon Coffin skin. Why? Okay, so missions, what do we get there? So exterminating things, you get back to points, optional quests, complete a mission using quick match, send a like, like, I hate stuff like this. I literally hate it. Like, you have to play online, you can't play on your own, you have to play online. Have to Have to interact with everyone at all times. Like, I, I, I know I sound like I'm, like, you know, just want to be on my own all the time and just sad and stuff, but, like, I don't always want to be playing... I don't want to play with strangers, essentially. Like, you know, if, if I was with a group of friends, that'd be different, but, like, my friends aren't buying this, let's be real. Like... Private HQ, please. Yep. Get me the heck out of this public space. I have no interest in other people. Oh, look at my awesome character and how bulky he looks. Jesus. All right. Take a gander at the quests. Cool. Okay. So what's the difference between party quests and my quests? Okay, no quests available. Tower of Babylon, Civic Cloister. Okay, so we have Mission 2, Recommended Power 3. I think we are about that, right? I don't know. Ready. Right, we're gonna... We have some different uh, weapons and stuff now that we can try out. Not really too sure how this is going to go, but... Okay. Do be careful. Do be careful. Uh, we should probably... So, this is the same. Uh... Ooh. Okay, you can move with that. Looks a bit weird. It's like bright orange. It's me. Hello, Lady Galatea. How are you today? Hey, Sylvie. As always, I'm the greatest. Get on with it. Apologies. Galatea has been somewhat unwieldy lately. <clears throat> that area is known for sudden gales, so I want to give you a bit of warning. Watch your step. Oh, I'm still pushing circle. Okay, they need to fix that knockdown thing as well, because that's not fun. I don't know why games insist on having control taken away from the player at all times. I don't even need to be, like, close to these people. Nice. 
Oh, there's more. Wonder if maybe uh, if maybe the bow is the way to go. I mean, being able to attack from halfway across the arena seems pretty OP in a game where most of the enemies only seem to be able to melee you, and if they have range, it's like really weak. That's not me saying I wish the enemies' ranged attacks were stronger, by the way. <laughs> okay. playing Donkey Kong now. So the thing is, is like, when you're playing a looter, like, you're not gonna have the weapons you want a lot of the time until you get to, like, end game. They need to fix the whole getting knocked down and not being able to do anything for ages thing. Is that it? Oh no. And we're going this way? I mean, up seems to generally be the way forwards. Hello? Hello? Hi. This is Pygmalion. Hello. I thought I'd let you know that the area you're in now is known to hold many hidden pockets. Hidden pockets? Anything good inside? You could say that. They're treasure troves hidden in walls and floors by Ikiki and other monstrosities. Things Wait, such beasts considered to be treasure, that is. As they say, one man's trash and so forth. I did hear of a sentinel who found gold and thus lived in the lap of luxury for some time. So you may wish to keep an eye out. Alright. No telling what the bloody rabbits look like you might find them. Okay.
Okay. Where did I come from and where am I going? That looks like up. Give me the ups. Okay. So can I jump? Okay, you jump higher if you hold down the button. Which is not something that the game tells you. This is random. Don't quite know how to feel about that. So what's the point in that? Why can I go onto this balcony? Okay, so that was hidden treasure, I think. How are we doing for time? 31 minutes. Okay, let's kill it. Okay. <laughs> the music is very uh, dramatic for what this is. Ow. I hate being knocked down. It doesn't feel good. Uh, oh, that hit me. Oh, okay. I think all his health just came back. I just I don't really feel like I have much control over what's going on. I'm getting staggered every two seconds. Oh, okay. Now I'm on the floor. Thank you. 
Okay, so he's enraged again now. And now he's dead. So that was weird. I got a pure platinum for that one. And all I did was hold down triangle and then L2 and R2 every once in a while. Hmm. Don't quite know how I feel about that one. didn't give me a skilled completion uh, thing. <laughs> uh, exchange all. What is any of this? Oh good, it's given me more hammers. I didn't particularly want hammers, but that's fine. That's fine. And we no longer have swords, and swords is what I was kind of going to go for. But we can't. We can't do that. Because the game says no. So we have to use hammers in order to progress up the tower. Mm. Oh god, more of this. Eat up, sentinels. Hey boy. It's on the house. Not trying to do you any favors. What I mean is. Okay. Larkus. Your mu pay him no mind, man. Still, you bet. Don't worry yourself too much. Mm. That's soon. Okay. I'm sorry, boy. Oh, no, no. Truth be told, I even up. Are you out your damn mind? <laughs> yeah, that's why. Okay. Of course. I'm too... I won't give up that. Once the blue sun is gone, I'm well again. Think of how... I'm sure he's very... I suppose we'd better make room for a new addition in our rank. Well, I don't know what this story is they're trying to, like, force feed down my throat, but it's not good. Um... I like the general idea of the story, like as in the like climbing the tower and like stuff like that. Um, I don't like any of this like character drama that's going on. I think it's boring. Um, and like every game like this tries to do it. Um, can I auto equip the strongest gear? Is that a thing that I can do? Because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be equipping the strongest shit. So... Can I break down old gear that I don't like? Which is, you know, anything that isn't extremely powerful. It's also annoying that you have to set each one as well. Okay, I think that's that. Then that's the strongest thing there. We're still wearing the strongest thing. Still wearing the strongest thing. How do we get rid of stuff? I want to, like, delete things. No? Is that a thing that I can't do? Equipment? So can I now... How do I, like, break down gear? Please tell me I don't have to go to a shop to do it. Oh, God. Like, what is this? Relics? Nothing. Others? Nothing. 
What do achievements do? Claim reward. Okay. Cool. So right, is there a way? Um, I guess controls. Oh, no, this isn't quite what I was after. I wanted a more sort of like general control. Maybe this will. Nope. Okay, so this is pretty bad. God damn it. Right, okay. So, I want to figure out how I dismantle gear. Is that a thing I can do? Let's go talk to Pygmy. Pig Pig I don't care. The exchange. Um, this isn't a sell. Do we sell things? I don't understand what I'm doing. There's got to be a way to like break items and gear down or so is that even a thing like do you what's enchantment list no idea um i don't know what all of the oh we have an access accessories thing Resistance up, resistance up, immobilize. Siphon boost, let's try that I guess. So yeah, so far, really, really not vibing with this. Like if I had have known there would have been a demo, I probably wouldn't have bought this this is uh, this is pretty tragic oh dear okay well um, at least I have Elden Ring <laughs> um, I mean you know I'm getting it one way or another um, so I'll see what the full game's like. Um, uh, if this is genuinely how slow Battle Pass progress is as well, Jesus. Like, I have to do ten times what I did just to get a level one reward. Like, I mean, we look at this Battle Pass. I have to do ten times what I just did to get nothing. I don't even get anything at the first thing because I haven't bought the premium battle pass like that is awful there's just nothing there's nothing in the way of like decent progress in the game like loot is pointless in this game as it is in every looter shooter it seems or looter game because you literally just have to equip whatever has the highest numbers in order to progress quickly because if you like if I wanted to use a longsword right now my power would be two. And that's the highest amount. Like, the rest of it would be ones. So I have to use a hammer, a staff, and two other hammers to get my power as high as it is. I can't wear any armor that I want to wear because it's none of it is, like, the right level. I mean, 
out of all of them, I like this one best. The level 1 one. <laughs> but, nope, got to wear this stupid thing. Are the stats any different between these two? Nope, they're exactly the same. So at least they're not completely randomised stats, that would suck. I really hate it when games do that as well. Adding like RNG into something that is already quite RNG with regards to getting drops and stuff is just not fun. Um, I mean, the gameplay is already kind of wearing thin and I've done two missions. Like... <laughs> Alright. Um, I think I'm honestly done with this demo. Like, I, I don't... I don't know. Maybe I'll play more? Ugh. I don't know. This is a definite don't buy from me. Like, if you're thinking of picking this up, like, um, I honestly wouldn't even recommend you download the demo, to be honest with you, based on what I'm playing. Um, like, the combat was interesting for about 10 seconds. Like, and I, I do genuinely mean that. Like, during the tutorial, I thought to myself, oh, actually, you know what, this combat system might be good. And then I actually played a few missions, and it was like, you're just doing the same thing in every single scenario. Um, enemies have walls of health, as is always a problem in looters. Um... Enemies don't react to your attacks when you hit them. You have no control over what you are actually equipping if you want your power to be good. The Gideon Arms thing, well, I don't know what they're called actually. The the floating weapons can't be hidden. They're like, you know, on your screen permanently. It makes the screen look cluttered. The lock-on is finicky as hell. You have to unlock and then re-lock every time you want to change your lock-on target. Um... Moving the right stick whilst you're locked on just moves the camera around regardless of what you're locked on to, so it doesn't really make any difference whether you're locked onto an enemy or not. Um, outside of maybe ranged attacks, I guess, it might make that a little bit more precise, but like, even then, it kind of auto-locks a little bit anyways. Jumping feels terrible. Um... There is a shop for the conch coins, which, like, seemingly don't get you anything, really. Like, literally nothing. Character models are atrocious. The graphics kind of hurt my eyes. The voice acting is palatable in some areas and absolutely dire in other areas. The story, general story, is fine. But the whole, like, the drama of, like, your character's lives, like, these two uh, other Sentinels that you've got with you, I don't understand why they're even a thing. Um, they're not interesting. The conversations aren't really very funny. They're trying to make them funny, I think. Um, I have no interest in any of the characters or anything that's really going on. Um, the most interesting concept is climbing the tower. And um, it doesn't seem as though there's going to be actually much of a sense of actually scaling it. Like, I feel like it's just going to be copy-paste missions against copy-paste enemies. We've seen a few different ones in this demo, but, like, the tactic is the same with all of them. You just use your most powerful attacks over and over and over again until everything on the screen is dead. You don't really think about what you're actually doing. Um, the fact that you have to go to a shop to get rid of unwanted gear is stupid like it, the developers have never played a looter game before clearly because if they had they would know that that is the most cumbersome and annoying thing in the world to have to do um, you should be able to dismantle gear or sell gear from your inventory straight um, even in the middle of a mission in my, in my opinion um, 
vanity items seem to be exclusively um, unlocked by, via paying them more money when you've already paid them £60 to get the game, which is atrocious. It should not be a thing. Um, like, if I want my character to look cohesive in any way, I have to give them more money, and I've already given them £60 for something that looks like a PlayStation 2 game and doesn't really feel very responsive, doesn't really... I don't know. I don't understand. I do not understand what they were thinking with this. I've genuinely, like... I've come away from this, like, more disappointed than I have in, like, anything for a very long time. And I think it's partly because it's Platinum Games, and I know they've done some bad games in the past. Like, Lord knows that Legend of Korra game was bad. Um... I heard bad things about a couple of the, uh, like the Transformers game. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else they've made. They've made some other terrible things, I'm sure. But um, this is not good. Um, shall I do more videos of the demo? I don't know. Is that a thing people would watch? I feel like it probably isn't. Maybe I will, if I'm bored. But I mean, like I say, I've got Elden Ring. Why am I still here talking about this? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and play something better. So um, I will catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Farewell.